Today I'm going to show you how to make mohrabiye, a Lebanese traditional dish, in the most simple way. We will be needing several ingredients, beef chanks, a whole chicken that I've pre-cooked and I will show you later, the mohrabiye beans, cinnamon sticks, onions, bay leaves, chickpeas, flour, butter and all the peppers that we will be using, the traditional peppers for mohrabiye and cinnamon and kavi. So I'm going to start by showing you how to cook the beef chunks. First of all, we're going to add the cooking oil, just a drop. And then gradually, we're going to add the beef chunks. And now we pour in all the meat. The most important thing is to make sure we fry the meat on all sides until it's lightly brown. And now we're going to pour and add the onion, the bay leaf and the cinnamon stick. We add the salt and pepper. It's all spice, so it's several peppers at the same time, not just black pepper. Now we will add some water to cover the meat, so that we will have water, meat juices, to be able to cook the mohrabiye balls. And then we put the lid. We make sure it's well closed and we put it on fast speed too. We give it the time, 50 minutes. I have pre-cooked my chicken. I am just going to show you. You just simply put a chicken, a whole chicken, in a pan with an onion and some lemon uh, peppers, just for the bad smell. I'll remove the chicken. We gently remove the skin. We remove the legs and we remove the bones. And now I'm going to add the butter and then I'm going to add the mohrabiye balls. And now we add above the butter the mohrabiye balls. Then we're going to add the mohrabiye spices. A little bit of carvi. And obviously salt. We mix well so that they don't stick and so that the peppers go on every single little ball of mohrabiye. As you can see, they're all lovely and brown. The next step is we're going to add from the chicken stock, three cups of chicken stock to cook the mohrabiye. And now we lower the flame on the gas and we let it cook around 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to do the sauce for the mohrabiye. And now I'm going to add the butter. Once the butter has melted, I'm going to add the flour and that will be around two tablespoons of flour. Then the beef stock. We'll make sure it's nice and smooth. And now we're going to 
add the rest of the carvey, a small teaspoon of carvey, a teaspoon of allspice, And now, before the mohrabi is completely cooked, while we still have a little bit of juice left, we're going to add the chickpeas. And now we pour the sauce in the saucer. We check our mohrabi, it's cooked lovely all the juices have nearly gone we still have a little bit of juice just enough we turn off the fire and then now we're going to serve in our serving plates and now we place the onions We put some chicken pieces on top. And now we place the meat that was cooked beforehand. And now it's ready to be served and eaten. Enjoy. The Lebanese Mughrabiye, the simple way, the way a housewife would do it. You have the sauce, we have the Mughrabiye, the meat, the chicken, all the ingredients. I hope you will enjoy it.